physical condition will not alter the state of his spirit. That's why wickedness is a pollutant of the spirit. It must be removed. Are you hearing me? Everything that is not like Christ must be ejected from your spirit. Don't allow it. Refuse to hate. Refuse to dislike anybody. Refuse to, refuse to get angry with others. That anger that does not leave. Don't say, if they forgive me, I'll forgive them too. Ah, am I the only one that should forgive? No! No matter how they want to act, you become straight with God. You understand me? Don't worry about whether they like you or dislike you. Don't let it be your issue. Don't even think about it. No! Christ in you, the hope of glory. <laughs> Hallelujah. You see, one of the many times some people ask me some questions. The things they like to like to know. But you see, I can tell you this. I resolved many years ago to walk in love and in love only. And to see things from that perspective only. I can never be bitter. Never. I can't. It's too expensive. Do you understand? It's too expensive. When I was growing up, I was very wicked. But you understand? Now, my parents, especially my mom, could tell that I was terrible. But she doesn't even know how wicked I really was. Because even though I was small, if somebody did something against me, I wished I could kill him and I meant it. If I could have done it, I would have done it. I was very wicked. Very, very wicked. <laughs> it's true. You see, but because I was small, you wouldn't have known. But the wickedness was inside. How was it there? I don't know. But it was there. Why? Well, it has to be. There must have been some walking with Satan somewhere. Because you can't have anything like that without the devil. But you see, when I received Christ into my heart, and I was born again and filled with the Holy Spirit, the same way my fears disappeared, my ability to hate and be bitter disappeared. They all dissipated. I couldn't think like that anymore. I seemed to love everybody. You couldn't talk evil of anybody around me. I would say, but that guy is nice. And I meant it. Sometimes they said, oh, yeah, to you everybody is nice. But that's the way I thought about it. You see it? That's the way I thought about it. That's the way I could see things. That's the way I could regard people. And then many years after that, all I could do was just see that way. And function in love. Are you hearing me? So I love everybody. Are you hearing me? <laughs> then, most especially when I get to meet someone, I just can't think of anything about you that's not lovable. You are wonderful. And that's the way I really think. Now, when you think like this, your health, he says, then shall your health spring up. Your strength, your ability to see, and the way the Holy Spirit can work in your life. All of these things will just multiply. The grace of God in your life will multiply. You don't care about what others think about you. I remember a few years ago, when they were writing all kinds of things about me on newspapers and talking about television, I never really cared. I never got bitter. I couldn't think evil or think angry about anybody. No. No. A thousand times no. It just wasn't part of my system. I never went back to God in prayer. Oh God, why are all these things happening? Oh God, you must vindicate me. I didn't talk like that. Are you hearing me? I had a certain kind of excitement inside me. For a reason. For a reason. The Bible says the righteous shall come out of trouble. You see that? I just knew. I just knew one day it would turn out for my good. I just knew inside. I had inside information that I couldn't go down. I could only go up. I had a, a, a different attitude to all those things. It's important. And this will help you in your health. This is the way to fight cancer. This is the way to fight all kinds of sicknesses in your physical body. Satan can't stand love. I tell you, there's one thing that Satan cannot resist. It's the power of love. He flees before love. 
Hallelujah. Are you still there? Refuse to be bitter about somebody who could help you and didn't help you. You say, my uncle could have helped me, but he refused to help me. Refuse to be bitter. Refuse to be bitter. Yeah. Say, look at my condition. Is somebody that cost it? Look at my condition. No, don't worry about those who cost it. Think about the one that can take it away. His name is Jesus. He's the one that can change everything. He says, all things, all things, all things, all things are possible to him that believes. I don't know what your condition is today, but I can assure you, you are in for a miracle. Yeah. Hallelujah. You're in for a miracle. God will touch you today. The Spirit of God will touch you today. Yes, yes, yes. Yes. That infirmity will not remain in your body. 